So this question says, a 500 kilogram car traveling at a speed of 25 meters per second collides head on with another car of mass 800 kilogram, which is traveling at a speed of 18 meters per second in the opposite direction. Now both cars move off together after impact and the question asks us what is the magnitude and direction of the velocity vector they both move with okay so to consider a question like this we it is best to make a simple sketch so we can actually see what's going on no no this sketch doesn't necessarily mean that we need to draw cars that look like lamborghinis just something simple enough for us to actually see what's going on so here's a sketch with our two cars right so we can call this car car A and car B. Now we are told that car B has a mass of 500 kilograms and is moving with a speed of 25 meters per second while car B has a mass of 800 kilograms and move with a speed of 18 meters per second now they said that both cars collide with each other and then move off after collision now since both cars has mass and move with some velocity hey there junior roberts if you like this video please hit like share and if you have any questions post them in comments really appreciate you watching thanks a lot it therefore means then that each car has what is known as momentum which is as we know from earlier is just the mass of an object multiplied by its velocity so to consider a quest consider a question like this we can consider the conservation of momentum so since each car had momentum at the initial stage when they were moving with some speed and had their initial their own mass they add what is a, what is again momentum so they are the initial momentum then they collide and it is expected that they will have a momentum after since they both move off with some speed so what does the conservation of momentum says the conservation of momentum let me just write it down conservation of momentum and what this is saying is that the momentum of a system before collision is equal to the, to the same momentum after collision so if we write momentum we know momentum to be mass times velocity so if we say set up an initial so, so let's write initial must be equal to the final momentum and we can write it then as m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so this is saying that the sum of the initial momentum is equal to the sum of the final momentum so in our case we are two cars with both mass and velocity traveling they colliding and they move off together so to write our equation for our case we will simply write something like m a which is the mass of a times the initial velocity of a plus the mass of b times the initial velocity of b is equal to the mass of A times the velocity which A moves off with. So let us, let's just call that V, V plus the mass of B times some velocity, which again, both car A and car B move off together. So they move off with the same velocity 
and we write that as V. So let's write the formula again. So MA UA plus M B U B is equal to M A. Now because both this V and this V is common, we can simply factor our V out and left with MA plus MB multiplied by our V because as, as I said we simply factored out the V so now <coughs> again we want to find this V the velocity vector we want to find its magnitude and direction so we can simply plug in our variables here so the 500 kilogram car moves with a velocity of 25 meters per second and the 800 kilogram car moves with a velocity of 18 meters per second so let's fill in some variables here so the mass of a is 500 kilograms and that is multiplied by 25 meters per second plus 800 kilograms and that is multiplied by 18 meters per second. Our mass are 500 plus 800 and our unknown V. So taking the product of these two, we get 12,500 kilogram meters per second plus 14,000 400 kilogram meters per second which is equal to 1300 kilogram and again we have our unknown V so first let's take the sum of these two quantities here these two momentum quantities so taking the sum of these, we get 226,900 kilograms meters per second equals to 1300 kilogram and our unknown V. Now to find V, we simply divide both sides by 1300 kilograms 1300 kilograms so it then means then that our velocity is is equal to 20.7 meters per second now in terms of the direction if we look at both momentum vector we see that the momentum of car A, this is car A here, and the momentum of car B. So the momentum of car A is 12,500 kilogram meters per second, while for car B it's 14,400. Now we know that whenever we have two vectors interacting, let's say we have vector A and vector B. Right? To find the direction which the resultant vector of these two vectors will be it will be determined by the magnitude of the larger vector so in this case let's say this is our larger vector based on the size here so let's say this is 5 newtons for argument's sake and then this is 2 newtons we expect that the resultant vector will be in a direction in the direction as which a is moving so in our case since the larger vector is our is a vector of car B, we expect that let me erase this. So since the larger vector again is vector B, we expect that our direction we expect that our direction will be in the direction 
of the 800 kilogram car so let's put it all together so velocity v is equal to 20.7 meters per second in the direction of the 800 kilogram car you can find more great physics tutorials like these over on my website at realgenerobertz.com